Rose Namajunas versus Carla Esparza, UFC 274. This was an interesting fight. I was hosting a watch party on the Millions platform, and I was having a conversation with Niche4116. Shout out to Niche, man. We had a good time. We were breaking down the fights. We had a very good time. I enjoyed it. And this fight was coming, and we were trying to decide who was going to have the upper hand this one, right? Who was going to win? Now, these two have history, right? Going back to the beginning stages of their careers, Carla choked Rose out and she had the upper hand. So from an athlete perspective for me, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? Mentally, Carla has the upper hand because she's saying, I've beat this person before. I can do it again. But you look at the other part, right, where you have the champ, Rose, who fought against um, um, Wei Li, right? Wei Li, prior to fighting Rose, she had lost one fight and won every other fight. And Rose beat her twice. And so I felt like this was a different Rose. I felt like going into this fight, as we were talking about on the Millions platform, was I felt like if this fight was an upright fight, I would have to expect that Rose would have the upper hand. I was watching some of her movements when she was training, watching the Embiid, uh, the embedded stuff that the UFC does. And I was watching her strike and she's precise and her timing is right. And for someone who's 115 pounds, she's got a lot of power right? She's very sharp. And I was thinking as we were breaking down the fight, I said, you know what? I think if this is an upright fight, I think this is a fight that Rose will possibly win and maybe even knock out Carla. But on the other hand, I said, I have a feeling that Carla is going to be able to take her down. And if she can take her down, then she will have the upper hand. And as the fight started to play out, it was nothing that we expected. If you were a spectator or analysts, or whomever the case may be, as people watching combat sports, we didn't think that the fight was going to go like this. We didn't think that the fight was going to be a, 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 a strong, ver a mix of a cat and mouse versus chess versus checkers. It, we just didn't think it was going to be like that. And I remember watching the first round and thinking to myself, I was like, how do we score this? Right? Like, how are the judges going to score this? Are they going to move towards the aggressor? Are they going to move towards the person who took or at least try to make a move? Were they going to? I didn't know how they were going to do it. I didn't know how they were going to do it. I thought to myself, you know what? Whoever gets the first takedown, whoever lands a couple clean strikes, they're probably going to win the round. Because that whole fight, I felt like Rose gave too much respect to Carla. And I thought the whole two in the ring, I thought they were showing way too much respect for each other. And Sometimes when you're in a position where, you know, it's pressure and you're not sure what to do and you don't want to make a mistake and you want to be perfect and you want to make the right move, you don't want to make the wrong move, that sometimes when you, when you, when you don't want to make the wrong move, you end up not making a move. And I felt like that's what we saw. And every round kind of played out like that. And every round was kind of the same. But there was a round where... Carla started taking a little bit of a risk. It wasn't a lot, but it was enough to get the points. Yeah, she landed a takedown, but Rose got right back up. She landed another takedown, but Rose got right back up. But we have to judge it on something. We have to judge it on something. And so I was watching uh, some of the post-fight stuff, and Rose felt like she won the fight. And I'm thinking to myself, but how? You landed maybe one or two strikes, but you didn't do anything to say that she won the fight. At least Carla took a risk and tried to do something. I don't know what happens next. We're probably not going to see a rematch. So I don't know what's going to happen next. But I want to ask you, what would you like to see happen next? What was the thoughts of it on your fight? And if you thought that this fight was going to play out like how it did play out, you are crazy. Because this was a fight that none of us thought it was going to go like this.